since I made a video about Bungie and their woes with Sony, figured I'd look into their game marathon that's coming out. I think next year. P- people are worried that the not worried. Should I say worried? Is worried even? Are they really worried about a company? Like <laughs> I don't think so. Tell me what you think. Are you excited about marathon? Do you think Bungie has their head in the right place? Do you think the extraction shooter by the time this game comes out is really going to be a viable genre anymore? I don't know. I guess we'll see. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. This is from Push Square. This is what I found so far. I've read a couple other articles, and this one kind of basically says the same thing. Anyways, th- we know very little about Marathon, which is can be concerning. And, and in the article, they're saying they're not sure how many more mulligans Bungie is allowed. Basically, they can't. We don't know how many more screw-ups they can take. First, the reported price is $40. It's a price point, which I think pretty fair for a game nowadays. Helldivers did it. I think there was a few other games that did it. Helldivers was different. Now, Helldivers has its own problems right now. They're, they kind of seem to be, they're grabbing at, they seem to be rolling down the cliff right now, Arrowhead, and they're just kind of grabbing onto anything they can hold onto at the moment to kind of stabilize the game and their player base, but... Uh, Bungie is not expected to showcase Marathon in any major way before spring 2025, although there might be a video introducing Joe Ziegler, as well as clearing up some misconceptions that have taken root. Joe Ziegler, Joe Ziegler, Joe Ziegler. Why do I recognize? Why do I? What, what, what is he from? Oh, yeah, that's right. He worked on Valorant. Okay. He was Valorant's, uh, one of Valorant's directors or something like that. That's right. Marathon is not a traditional hero shooter like Overwatch, and is closer to Apex Legends, apparently. Mm. Just with more customization. (laughs) Okay, I guess that can work. It remains an extraction shooter at heart, and the gear and guns acquired during a run are meaningful and can be further customized. According to the source, the hero concept was brought to the fore by a now-fired Sam Barrett. Oh, fuck, they fired him? Guessing he fought with management. That's, That's my guess. There'll be puzzles to solve and secrets to uncover but they are vastly reduced from what was originally planned. Despite this, the aesthetic and the art direction depicted in the revealed trailer remain, in fact, Bungie's double down, considering the positive reception among most fans. I forgot there was a reveal trailer. Why don't we watch that? All right, I never saw the reveal trailer. Let's look at it. Here we go. Let's be wowed. Okay, artwork's good so far. The music's kind of cool, I guess. That whole synth synth shit. 80s throwback. A lot of running. Let's get on with it. Come on. So you're like a robot or something? Is that what I'm seeing? I really don't like that sound very much at all. <laughs> I really don't like that sound. Let's see what people are saying. <laughs> Let's read the comments. Let's read the comments. I can't wait for this to release five layoffs later. <laughs> yeah, that's probably probably what's going to happen. It was a whole lot of nothing. I mean, it's a reveal trailer. It It's like a lot of other reveal trailers. It doesn't tell you a whole lot of anything. I, I just don't think... I think Bungie's in the waning years of its relevancy when it comes as a, as, a, as a game maker, a game developer. I don't know. They seem like they're seem like they're flailing a little bit here. Does that seem like to you guys? Bungie's kind of flailing lately. You guys know more than I do, probably about a lot of this stuff. You know, your 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 audience is always smarter than you and funnier than you. That's just the way it goes. Morale apparently is relatively low amongst the game's 300 strong team, with uh, some of the employees voluntarily departing in the studio's current state. Ooh, sounds like things. The insiders they're getting information done say there's a little bit of there's a little bit of strife, a little bit of a uh, infighting going on in Bungie right now but they say it's going to be an extraction shooter so I guess we'll have to wait and see how good this extraction shooter is in 2025 which sounds like is the window they're going for because they apparently are 
running out of funds to keep uh, you know developing this right now, and and Sony's kind of getting a little irritated with the timetable. I I looked okay, I guess. You can't really glean much from a reveal trailer though. A lot of the time, sometimes games look great in the reveal trailers, and then the game comes out and it's terrible. Personally, I would say wait. Don't pre-order this game when it comes when it comes available for pre-order. I would say wait and see what people are saying that you trust. You know what I mean? In the online space, like independent media, like what are they saying about the game? Don't don't listen to necessarily IGN or Push Square what they think about the game because a lot of these journalists are mostly you know centered around their politics. Like that's their that's their god, that's their lord is their politics. So if they see their politics in the game. It's going to be a great game. If they don't see their politics in the game, it's not as good of a game. I don't think Marathon is going to be a hit. I really don't. But I could be wrong. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And until we meet again. Come on the adventure.